This is how after part. After we part. we ain't mean to do a lot of the, one of these in a minute. Because mm. the last, usually I some of my after parts be a Jade was here, where our correspondent Jade Power comes in and monkeys up the place. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I like how you said the communication with relationships. Now. Yes. Because I saw a post today. Mm. Where a friend of mine said, "What at what point should economics and financials be a discussion in a relationship? Should it start like when you're just trying to test the waters or a serious relationship engagement or mm. marriage?" My opinion is that should be the first set of conversations you have when you meet anybody. Yeah, I feel like it w- it would come in stages. Um, depending on how the relationship progresses. But I feel like just a communication of how we view money. Yeah. Some people have view money as, hey, I, I can't take it with me when I die, so I might start spending now. Other people have it as, yo, I'm trying to build and try for something, so let me just put things away. So it's just speaking on those things and then paying attention. Like, if you, if you see somebody that, that is pretty much free and spending or what's not, and you know, like, hey, this girl is a super value cashier, but like she's she's spending a whole lot that I don't really think super value make. <laughs> then, you pay, then you pay attention to lo- those little one and signs and things like that, and yeah. then just just their conversation. No, she might, she might, she, but then it's, she might have a side hustle. But what she kind might, of side but then it's, that's just, that's just paying attention. Yeah. And then it's like the conversation. Like if you always hear, and I I need speaking about women because I date women, so it's like women. It'll be yeah. for men. Um, if you hear things, but or. Oh, I know how I could pay my rent this week or things like that. And, and that come up more than once. Then you come know, up hey, you right when say, you start talking to You got to right? say, hey, wait a minute. Like, what's going actually, on? Actually, wait. I always have this thing, and I know women hate it, hate it when I say this, but it's like, fam, how you was affording your bills before you met me to now ask me? Preach, because mm. <laughs> that's so, the mean uh, Oh, I, I know how I'm going to pay my rent. Mm. That's probably it. <laughs> I mean, Go ahead, meet you. Um, <laughs> no. I said she was affording it via another partner, and now you in the picture as the new sugar daddy. Hold on, so the partner was all shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, don't mind me. That's funny. I don't know, I don't nah, know. I, I don't pick on the girl, so like we could talk with the dudes. Like, like, yeah. like some dudes. I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, like some dudes, mm-hmm. or from the stories I hear, like the car, whole car in the shop thing. Yeah. Like, they yeah. Somebody, like my car in the shop, yeah. and it's like... <laughs> Bro, like, like you, you don't have a car. Like you don't, you don't have no <laughs> don't car, have bro. No like, car. Like, <laughs> like you know, you literally be in, in the passenger seat of your best friend got like car, yeah. like legit, not even the song. And so it's like, mm. no, bro. Like keep it together. And the thing about it is, you won't even. I, I remember I saw in Bantown, Town, bro. <laughs> this way living a clapboard no, house. Shout out to Dumberground going on. Yeah, <laughs> I can say it with her. But he, this person living a clapboard house. Tell me why they put new rims on their Honda, bro. You live in a clapboard house, but you putting on rims that cost probably two, three hundred dollars each or something. Mm. They said you put that towards something that makes sense. You putting rims on a car, bro. Priority is but like, but that don't even make no car sense. Car gotta be fresh. Just to show off. Mm. I know dudes, I know dudes who used to buy rims before they had a car. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like they'd buy the rims and be like, yeah, wait, this is where I get my car. Hey. Like, you, you didn't buy the car first? <laughs> it's like priorities, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, see, man, uh-huh, that yeah. gotta come to, to fruition, you see. I gotta buy a door next week to talk, but I buy the fence in my house. <laughs> All right, simple question. I know it could be very subjective, right? We mm. didn't get into this, but simple question. Say whatever you want, um, however you feel about it. But what do you find as rich and what do you find as poor? Mm. Rich and poor? Mm-hmm. How would you say, okay, this person rich when you look at that, and then when you say, well, that person poor? Um, that's, sub- that's subjective because very. Cause I know people who make $300 a week, and to them, like to that realm, like, they they got it, mm-hmm. but <laughs> to a certain <laughs> point, then it's like no. Um, and there was a time like when I was job hunting, and there were certain numbers that would come out like, and it would be like people would be like, D- like you 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 work this job for that amount, like yeah. that, that's <laughs> right? that's robbery. Mm-hmm. But then like to, pe- to somebody them, else that's, is a lot, right? That's normal. So it, it's all subjective to me. I feel like. Poor would be when you when you can't afford the basics, not not just not the extra stuff, but the basics. The basics would be shelter, food, and clothing. So it's like if you if you don't have the option, whereas if your pants have a hole, and you can't say no, I can just put on the black jeans. Mm. 
right. but you have to wear that pants, then you 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 on the pole. Or whereas you don't know surely where you have this could sleep that night, or you can't sleep comfortably because you don't know the location, mm -hmm. then that's kind of poor. Rich, rich is subjective because some days when I could when if I could go in a restaurant and just not have to worry or look at the price and be like, you're like, that sounds good, let me get that. Right. Or or I want to refill. Right. Or what's not like I could feel rich. So like rich is subjective, but the goal should be to be wealth. Yeah. Well, with wealth comes a certain level of freedom, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mental freedom, mm -hmm. and just freedom to move about things like that. Freedom to help where, where you want to, where you ain't got to worry. Like, hey, if I give Ricky a little something to go get a hair wash, that ain't going to hurt me or mm -hmm. something like that. Right. <laughs> See? Exactly. So I ain't got to worry about yeah, that. She so got a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> so rich, rich and poor yeah. are subjective, but I feel like poor to me is when you can't afford the basics, home, um, clothing and food and rich is when you could, could live a little without um, the pressure or the concern about tomorrow. Would you say that as a middle ground now? Um, yes. I feel like the middle ground is slowly dying but that's because of the cost of living and uh, our government refusing to diversify our economy and this is not a political campaign but please do something because we cannot live on tourism all along. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the middle class does exist and those are the persons that they aren't poor so they, they have it, but then they can't while out. Right. So their but their budgets would be a little stricter than the rich. Yeah. But then Yeah. Yeah. They try they, to get they, they fight they fight right. and they survive and also But most nations are built off the middle class though. Yeah, because they, it's like, you know they are the they are the persons that actually spend in the country. They're the consumers. Yeah. So, you know. Um but yeah, I one topic we forgot to tackle um before we end it was what's your definition of a high value man? Um, and it's this high value man talking. Yeah, this this been setting the internet on fire. fire. Yeah. Listen, so I ain't really do too much research because in my mm. in my just in my mind, a high value man would be a person that that provides value in multi different areas. And that's the so, correct definition. So that would be my yeah. so mm. my definition of high value would be not only the, the fact that if things get difficult that I can help in a certain place. I could provide value in educating you or putting you on to certain things. Mm -hmm. I could provide value into different resources. Whereas, hey, if if you interested in the podcast or what's not, like let me hit up, let me hit up my boy Justin. Whereas we could work something out. I know persons that could put you in a position to do mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Or I could provide you with an alley you, but it's called an alley you. Whereas like I could throw this up to you and you could score. I could provide right. value not only like mentally, whereas I encourage you, stimulate your mind. Physically, whereas like you're like I can I, I I have a car or what's not and I could afford to take you out, especially whereas like I could invest in you I could I could preach words of affirmation and if it comes need be depending on our religious relationship I could pray for you financially it's like eh, if, if 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 me and you like that I could pay for a little I could pay for some white toes and some nails I mean if we like that you know you go pay for that pressing yeah. I think it's a pressing go what would oh, cost forty dollars I know what Ricky will yeah, cost forty dollars is is the wa I I think it's the washing go right what cost forty dollars. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's $40 to wash your hair. Y'all pay $40 to wash your hair? No, it's the press. It's some press. I, I can't remember. I remember Ply said it one time. Mink eyelashes start at like $80. I ain't talking about the mink eyelashes. I'm talking eyelash. about. <laughs> I love your. I, gel, I love gel, your natural eyelashes. Gel baby. on hands and feet. Uh -huh. Without a manicure or pedicure, and she's just leaving my crusty nails looking the way it is. She ain't giving me no upkeep on my nail beds. She's just putting the polish on. That's like 35, 40. And for me to get for me to get my hair wash, treated, and blown out, it's about three hundred dollars based on my hair length. Three hundred dollars? No, baby, that's a, that's our date. <laughs> <laughs> you see what that's I'm a, saying? That's a date for us. Women's upkeep is rather expensive. Mm -hmm. And that's why I um when women talk about like going on dates with men and stuff or whatever, they're like for men to like not put effort into planning a date and just saying Slam bam, let's go here. The amount of money a woman puts behind getting herself prepared for that day, she's like, I'm gonna take myself on my own date uh -oh. because it just. I, I sort of understand that because I remember when um, my best friend Shamika was telling me about that many years ago. And I was like, but that's your problem. But now, like, as I get. <laughs> as I, <laughs> listen. What? As no, I've grown no, older, we, I we realized can't, that. We can't do that because at the end of the day, y'all gonna say, oh, the end for y'all anyway. 
Y'all no, but uh, I understand what you said. I was young when I yeah. said that. Now, and when I got older, I was like, okay, I see why they. But yeah. Okay, yeah. you saying it don't matter, but let me I walk around here with now. my hair I said it then. My toe, my paw was uh-huh. on my feet and my hands. How much you say the hair? I don't smell really good. Hair's <laughs> <laughs> mine. You don't even look my way. Like, you can look Everything cool. Let me, let me, <laughs> cool. Let me do it all this broad now. Uh, no, but, no, but I really, I asked, like, wait, okay, I see. In their minds, they like, but even though I ain't paying for this date, I pay for this date. Because uh, I had to pay to get myself looking like this to present to you. And if, see, and that goes to the high value argument and the whole 50 50 thing is that we try to. Society try to press us to think in this more modern age thing where a lot of us still think on an archaic traditional level. Mm. And I say that a good example of that is Bridgerton, right? A lot of people want, men still want to be like the dukes and barons and the pearls. Oh. And women still want to be, you know, come finally dress and be courted and things like that. Now, obviously, new age thinking, make it, okay, things have to be equal. But it's more so... I would say instead of equal, it's more so equity, per yeah. se, or whatever, because it's like, okay, yeah, I, I, equity and respect. Because it, it's like, okay, women still want to be taken care of. They just want to be respected, not looked yeah. as low. Like, like you know? if, if you take care of me, I'm not just an item, but I'm still a, exactly. I'm still a person. Yeah. I feel like but, uh, we have to stop trying to use one size fits all um solutions yeah, exactly to such broad scenarios and things like that because you could run into you could run into a woman that that wants to be taken care of and doesn't mind doing those traditional duties mm-hmm. and that's great for yeah. on the other hand you could run into an entrepreneur upbeat um savage that that's like you're like i don't know how to cook but my nails mm-hmm. did and i out there hustling mm-hmm. and it's like i don't i don't need your money mm-hmm. flip i need you to be home cooking and it's like you once again you gotta know the shop in your district. If you know that, like, yo, this is what I would like, or these are my expectations for a woman, then seek that out in the woman or don't try to make I and I just using Rakia because Rakia right here. Like you like Rakia can pay for her own hair. Mm-hmm. She don't need you to pay for her own hair, but you can't tell her like you're like tied it up and go cook me something. Yeah. I'm like, no. Man. So yeah. So, yeah. so it'd be like that. But um just back on the high value, like high value, like I said, it's a trendy topic and it got it got it it coming from a different perspective, not from the traditional like like how we thinking like a, a man that provides value at a high level and value over a wide spectrum of different things that matter. But a high value man is like you have to be making a certain amount. You have like you. I think the certain amount argument comes into play, but also how much value you could bring as a man as well. So the yeah, whole networking argument. Yeah. Like I know not because you can have a lot of money, but you you won't got you won't got no weight. Yeah. You can be yeah, like, yo, right, I can connect right. you, this and that, and I can broke or something. Or yeah. you're not of a high character. Or you're not desirable to where not just women want you, but other men want to be around you. Yeah. So your worth is in your network as well. Yeah, I would say that. And I would um just on the high value topic for anybody that that subscribing to that level of thinking, it's like don't beat yourself up, baby, because we all striving or trying to build or something. So you you might not be high value. But you could be medium value, mm-hmm. so it's like ju- just like don't find no way in that. I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with being average either, baby. To be honest, because everybody, yeah. like, I, obviously Instagram says us where all of us want to be some type of millionaire. But it's like, bro, you gonna be mad if you live a regular life? You know, you have a regular yard. You know, you take vacation once or twice a year, and you have a couple kids. And a regular spouse and a regular like you know and like that could be that could be dope like that'd be yeah. fire 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 because I mean like, all us could die in the end so yeah. exactly mm. so you know Real time. but yeah thank y'all for listening again this after the part you know just getting extra thoughts out again that's it all the links in the description um and we have more stuff coming on your way don't forget big everything cool turns two in a Monday April. Terrible too. Thought Terrible too. Deuce. Kicking and screaming. Yeah, you see. Deuce. Yeah, you see. <laughs> mm-hmm.